Well, hello again. This is Alan with DMHauntedHouses.com. Uh, it's, it's October 4th. It's a Saturday night, and I found myself at Lynn Supermarket of all places, and I believe you're Merlin Lynn. Yes, sir. Yep, that's right. And, and, and to explain to the people watching this why DM Haunted Houses is in a grocery store. Well, I started one here 30-some uh, years ago. Uh, I built one in my garage at home for the, all the kids in the neighborhood. A haunted house. A haunted house. And it was really good then. It was for little kids, and all the kids in the neighborhood around would come and go into for nothing. So then when my youngest daughter turned 16, I went out in the garage, and I could still see all the stuff that stuck to the ceiling and everything. So I told him I was going to build one in the basement of the grocery store. And of course, at the time, I think they thought that Dad has lost it a little bit. <laughs> now, that was this grocery store right here? Yes. I've so, been here since I was 15. So it went from your garage, and you had this business, um, and you had a basement? Yes. Okay, so so folks who go to Lynn's Supermarket Haunted House, what, what's the official long title? Of, uh, of the haunted house that has some really long title or well it was Lynn's supermarket and at the time I had soapbox derby with me. Okay, all right. Yeah. That's where I got that from. I remember yeah. there used to be more to it. Yes. Okay, so so this grocery store is open year round. Yes. And in October, you turn your basement into this big haunted house. Uh huh. And you've been doing this, uh, I believe this is your 31st year? Yes. Okay, now the City View readers um, voted you best haunted house this past season. Yeah. How did that come to be? Well, I really don't know. They just voted on all the haunted houses by the public. Okay. And uh, I didn't even know it, and all of a sudden they called me. In fact, they invited me to come to the the thing, you know, for the voting. I didn't go. I, I, I just pithy all the time. <laughs> and so I didn't go, so they had to notify me and tell me that I'd won. That's neat. Now, have you won that before from City I've come in second before. I'll be darned. Yeah. Oh, wait, well, congratulations on that. Yeah. Now, on my website, I uh, decided I wanted to give out awards as well last year, and hopefully I'll get something in the mail to you for you to display. And Lynn Supermarket received um, an award that I call, um, uh, I think I called it Best Dirty Trick because of your separation room. Oh, yeah. And I tried to find unique things that every haunted house has, something about them that really stands out. And there's a lot of things about the classic Lynn's haunted house experience. But that one experience that you have there is something that I just hadn't ran into anywhere else. And it, 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 it had a lasting impact on me. Is now, that, has, has that been there for a long time? That's been there probably for, I'd say, 16, 18 years. Okay, wow. Yeah. Now, um, because of the building codes in Des Moines, and, and they're doing changes in Pleasant Hill, there's a lot of things going on. Are you able to change much about your haunted house from year to year, or are you pretty locked in? Well, I can change it. Uh, we'll change the way they go sometimes, the aisles around, which that way we don't disturb what the city says you have Okay, to so, right. so you no, no major reconstruction, but you can use it in different ways. We can use it in different ways. Okay, so uh, are there anything notable this year for your 31st year you'd like to mention? Well, we changed just a couple areas, but nothing major. Okay. But actually, most people, it seems like, they don't realize you changed it anyway because they come the following year and they'll say, man, you changed everything. And yeah. All right. Okay. And uh, let's remind folks, um, how much does it cost to get in? Uh, this year, it's uh, $10 with the coupons we have spread out around the city. You can find them at all the Halloween places. Okay. You can find them on the southeast, north and west. I got them in Ankeny. We got some clear out in the small towns that we give them books of coupons. And then without the coupon, the coupons are good for the first two Friday Saturdays. That's a great value. And then uh, then it will go to uh, fourteen dollars. Fourteen dollars, not I, bad. I did not want to. We actually, well, we've been the cheapest, and I didn't want to go up, but everything else is gone. Mm -hmm. By the way, my my utilities, uh, we just got a letter in the mail, just went up 10%. Okay, well, hopefully this will, the, the one dollar, the whole dollar increase will... Uh, and, the, and the insurance eats up a lot. Yeah. All right, well, good deal. And uh, I'll have the dates displayed on our screen here. Anything else you want to tell folks? No, I, I the main thing, uh, I started this 
just that when I had one at home, how kids and even adults loved it. When people come to these places, it seems like they just forget everything and they're here just to have fun. And when they're having fun, I'm having fun. That's excellent. And then everybody should try to do all their shopping here to support local yeah. independent grocery stores, right? I would appreciate that because I'm the last independent around. That's and, excellent. And it's tough. Yeah, it's well, it's it's my, surprising actually. My wife and I work approximately 120 hours a week. Oh, well, the joys of owning your own business. But I've done that all my life. All right. Well, there you go. You can uh, come out to Lynn's Supermarket the rest of the year, and in October you can come out at night and experience Lynn's Supermarket's haunted house. All right. Thank you very much for your time. It's great to see you again. Thank you. Congratulations on your win last year. Thank you. what one of the rooms looks like with a light on it. Thank you for hearing that. What is your name, sir? Jim Woodland. Hello, Jim. How long have you been uh, doing this at Ed Lens? Uh, Donnie, was it 12 years? You don't worry about it. About that. The other guy doesn't want to talk to us. I think he scares too many people and he doesn't want you to know what he actually looks like. <laughs> How many years? I mean, about 12. 12 years. 12, 12 years. years. Yep. Have you been doing different things or has this just been your gig right here in this room as a creepy this clown? This room. Yeah? You like doing it? Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite thing about uh, scaring people at Lynn's Haunted House? Oh, just the the reaction. Yeah? Just, they hit the floor, <laughs> they're shaking, they're... I'm trying to remember which room this is. You know, with the lights on and just coming in through an access door, it's a very different experience because I've been here a number of times and still have no idea how this thing is laid out. Do you know your way around pretty well after all these years? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because uh, every time yeah, you guys can always lead me around really good. Yeah. Well, this is good. You're going to keep doing it for another 10, 12 years? We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, you want to say anything to the internet? Come to Lynn's supermarket. There you go. Get scared. That's the first thing I want to say. Thank you for your time. All right. Get over here. I'll stay here. We'll talk to him off camera and then he force an answer. Just get over here and sit.